All right, my friends, you ready for the riff and disposition changes? Woo, 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 woo. Let's go! Rifles and prax get an increase from 0.75 to 0.8. You're not gonna feel it. It's gonna be like a mosquito bite that doesn't go through. Batacore from 1.05 to 1.1. Same thing. Boltor from 1.25 to 1.3. You got the Tillos Boltor from 1.15 to 1.2. The Boltor Prime from 1.15 from 1.2. Tenant Flux Rifle from 0.5 to 0.7. That's actually something. I think this one might actually go to 2, right? This one, you might somewhat feel it. Fullman 065 to 07. The Gaze Primary from 1 to 1.05. You got the Comorex. You guys love the Comorex? You guys love the... Of course you don't. 1.1 to 1.15. Now, some players... I feel like the Comorex is a love or hated approach, right? I'm really not a fan of the mechanics. And I don't think it's the type of gun that you would normally play in a speedy game as Warframe. But hey, there are plenty of players that still love the Comorex. Obviously, not enough, as you can see. Lanka gets an increase from 1 to 1.05. Now, some players still believe the Lanka, Lanka is relevant today. It's not. For Eidolon hunting, you've got plenty of other better weapons. The Lanka is something of the past. You know, once upon a time with Chroma and the squad, you one shot with the Volt shooting through the sheet. That's over. Now, okay, everybody goes Volt today. The Lanka is mostly obsolete. We are waiting on the Lanka Vandal or the Tenant Lanka or something. Kuvab Ogres got a Dispo nerf, only 0.05, but still, Kuva Ogres gets a nerf. Opticor and Opticor Vandal get an increase, each get 0.05 extra. So the Opticor and the Opticor Vandal, I'm still a big fan of the OG Opticor. Fantastic weapon, honestly, yes, in terms of DPS, the Vandal is better, but it's DPS, it's not the big bada boom that the Opticor is known for. And DPS doesn't necessarily translate into clear time when it comes to Warframe, so careful when you think about that one. Paper DPS is one thing, actual gameplay damage is another. Panthera Prime gets an increase, also 0.5. Did they just like slap on 0 0.05 0 .05 on like everything? Rubico, Rubico, wow, Rubico, Rubico, but not Rubico Prime, normal Rubico. Normal Rubico is still a fantastic Eidolon weapon, especially for newer Tenno, which are lower in MR and don't have a whole lot of resources. So, man, so my Prime, once again, another 0 0.05. Oh, here's a 0 0.1, here's a 0 0.1 for the Sporofreaks. You know what I said for about the, whatchamacallit, the ex-wife, what's it called, what's it called? Yeah, what I said for the Comorex applies for the Sporotrix for the most part. Stalta gets an increase, and I know a lot of you guys love the Stalta, especially considering that Unreal Tournament skin, man. Aha, oh, the Shock Rifle skin. <laughs> Stalta, 0.05. Supra and Supra Vandal, once again, they get a 0.05 extra as well. Seabodies, Dex Seabodies, and Seabodies Prime. The entire Seabodies family gets a 0, you guessed it, 0.05. I feel like the Seabodies family is obsolete, to be honest, considering all the kooky guns we got in Warframe, all the Exceltras, the, 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 the um, Staltas, and so on and so forth, you know, Batacores, I feel like these are just under tad, a tad obsolete. Don't get me wrong, I love these guns, but I don't know if this is gonna be enough to make them relevant. 10 out of Prime! Whoa, now that's a buff, baby! From 0 0.5 to 0 0.8, that's a 0 0.3. That's a good buff for the Tenora Prime. Love it, love it. It's such a beautiful weapon. And if you guys are into the whole bullet hose experience, if you want your hose to be bullet fight, that didn't sound right. It doesn't matter. Tenora Prime. Ten and Tetra. This won't help it. It's a 0 0.2 buff. It's a significant buff considering everything else, but this will not help it. Unfortunately, they overdid it with the nerf on the Ten and Tetra. What was interesting about the Ten and Tetra was the fact that you could have that huge big bada boom explosion with no damage drop off. And now they added a very healthy amount of drop-off to it, so the ammo consumption is no longer justified. Might as well go to Va, go to Va, Kuva Tonkor. t on Prime gets a small buff as well. Now bad, Tomb Finger Primary gets a 0.05. The Tromna, oh baby, I love the US play Tromna. You play Tromna? Yes. Yeah, man, here you go, 0.05 extra for the Tromna. Oh. Now the Tromna is like the baby... Um, what, what's it called? The, 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 arc, uh, the arc gun. Mausalon. 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 It's like a baby Mausalon. They kind of came out in the same time. Right in the same period of time. They kind of work the same way. If you want the big boy mode, you go for the Mausalon. But the Tromna is one outstanding weapon. I highly recommend it. And yes, you guessed it. Haha. <laughs> like the guys right now for that one. 
Vectis, not the prime, gets a 0 0.05. Akuva Zar from 0 0.5 from 0 0.6. That's a 0 0.1 increase on the Zar, and that's gonna still be stuck visually for you guys, like on a 1 out of 5 Riven disposition. Uh, allow me to showcase. We are already in game. We're gonna take off window capture really quick. You know how the Kuvazar was one? Here's the Kuvazar. Beautiful weapon, dude. Beautiful, fantastic. Still one out of five. It's basically right now top three primaries in Warframe. I kid you not. You want to see how powerful it actually is? I know you do. Look at the cards right now. Moving forward, now. Moving forward. That was pretty much it for rifles. We're moving on to shotguns. Arca Plasmore buff! Woo, 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 woo. Arca buff, baby! Here we go. 0 0.1 extra. 0 0.1 from 0 0.7 to 0 0.8. Now bear in mind, this is not the Tenant Plasmore. This is the old Plasmore. But I just can't help but get excited every time I see a Plasmore buff. It's the old Plasmore though. Astilla gets an increase. The old Astilla. We got the Prime now. Oh, the Prime gets a major facelift. 0 0.5 to 0 0.8. That's a 0 0.3 extra. That's the biggest buff I saw today. You guys remember I did a video about when primes are no longer better because of this Riven Disposition and the very small difference in stats between normals and primes? Ha 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 ha. Maybe they heard? You think they heard? Probably not. Seto gets an increase. Even the Seto, which is beast mode, dude. The Seto is just like flat out beast mode. You don't mess with the Seto. Gets a 0 0.05 extra. I'm, I'm thinking maybe the fought primaries and secondaries are not powerful enough, so they just brought them up a little bit for Riven Disposition. You think that's it? Probably not. Current 1.1 to 1.15 and another 0 0 0.05, not the prime, the normal version. Kuva Heck gets an increase, a pretty significant increase as well, wow. 0.2. Oh. Kuva Heck came in under a lot of criticism simply because we can't use the Justice Augment on it, alright? I went over it in great detail on my guide, the Kuva Heck is still by far the most powerful heck. It's a weapon you need to have in your arsenal and yes, you know where this is going. Link the cards right now. I think I'm running out of links in the cards because my, my finger, like my, my snappy hurts. Sancti Tigris. Mm. Fun fact, after the uh, mainline changes of 2020, I do believe that the Tigris Prime fell behind the Sancti Tigris in terms of power. Did you guys know that? You guys know you probably didn't know that, but now you do. Uh, I don't feel like we use these weapons that often anymore. I would like to see a much more major buff done to them. They're part of the old guard. Let's move on to secondary weapons. We got the Ak Volto Prime. Oh yeah, mama! You know me, my favorite secondary weapons in Warframe. For subjective reasons, not objective, I love to see this one. Another 0 0.05, actually got a prime, same 0, 0, 0.05. Aklex Prime, 0, 0, 0.05. Ax Skeleto Prime, the, again, the same increase. The Atomos as well. The Atomos still one hell of a secondary weapon because of its AoE capabilities. You should definitely get this one. So basically, they kind of buff these Ax like across the board with 0, 0, 0.05. The thing about 0, 0, 0.05 is, they, again, like I mentioned at the start, you're not really going to feel it. This is more like a placebo effect, right? Like a sugar pill. Oh, this will cure you of everything. Haha. <laughs> no, no. This won't change much of anything in all actuality. Here's a nerf for the Kuva Brack. Why would you even nerf the Kuva Brack? The Kuva Brack actually at one point, when the Kuva weapons were new and all whatnot, the Brack was not only the, the most powerful secondary in terms of power at a certain point, it was one of the most powerful ranged weapons, period. That's not the case anymore, but still a great weapon. Small nerf again, you're not gonna feel it. Catabolist gets a 0.1 increase. The Tenant Cycron gets a 0.15 increase. The Tenant Cycron, guys. So essentially, the Tenant Cycron is like, uh, what's it called? The Nucor. Yeah, it's basically like a Nucor, only slightly better. If you wanted a better Nucor, go for the Tenant Cycron. And if you wanna see exactly what that's all about, ha! <laughs> Look at the cards right now. Promise, last time I'll do that. Promise. Mana Detron 1.1, not gonna help it. Tenant Detron 0.15 extra, still not gonna help it. Unfortunately, because of how the Mana Detron and the Tenant Detron function as weapons, they simply don't take, they can't really take advantage of the current meta. Okay, it's as simple as that. This will not help these weapon. The Epitaph, you guys remember it? It was awesome until the Eve nerfed it, and now it's not awesome anymore. And this won't change that. So there you go. You found our Prime, huh? What? Did they nerf the Epitaph? Yeah, they did. More? Wow. No, they, they removed the possibility of using what's the what's the mod on it. I forgot to 
Hemorrhage? No, 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 not Hemorrhage. There was a mod that worked on it that dealt a considerably more amounts of damage with a single shot. I forgot it. Was it Sin Charge? Was it Sin Charge? Yeah, yeah, Sin Charge. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so basically, ever since they removed Sin Charge from it, it's no longer that awesome. But it's still not a horrible secondary weapon, so there you go. You phone up Prime. This is a blast from the past, man. One of the most powerful secondary weapons at one point. Still can be used in Eidolon Hunts today. Very small buff as before. The Compressa gets a significant buff, however. From 0 0.5 to 0 0.75, that's 0 0.25 buff. You are somewhat gonna feel this one. I still didn't get to fully review the Compressa. It is not a stug. For the love of Christ, it's actually not a bad secondary weapon. It applies statuses like nobody's business. The Quiva, the Quiva Twin Stubba. That... The Dabba Stubba, you guys remember that? Small nerf on this one. Pandero, 0 0.5, 0, 0.05 extra. Pandero Prime gets 0 0.1 extra. A, a more significant buff for the Prime, but again, it won't really make much of a difference. The Kuvasir also gets 0 0.05. The Sepulchrum T10 and D Plus gets an increase. The D Plus, this is basically the best, the most right secondary weapon of the entire Tenant pack, and I highly recommend this one and if I can link it I will link it in the cards right now the Spyrax is also a very powerful secondary weapon the problem I had with the Spyrax on a personal level was the fact that it felt like a turbo stapler this one gets 0 1 extra twin Gracatas haha Mordaka absolutely 0 0 5 extra same for the Velox I can hardly remember this gun I can hardly remember this gun I'm trying desperately I can't Zakti Prime and the Zymos or Zemos as well Again, very small buffs across the board, but of course they will help. Let's have a look at melees very quickly. Ankyros gets a buff, the same 005. The Atom Spinoza, the same. The Atarax gets the same treatment for the most part. The Galantine Prime, Galvacord. The Glaive Prime gets a nerf, a 01 nerf. The Glaive Prime. Well, it has been used very often lately, so that explains that. Again, I wouldn't worry too much. You're not really gonna feel it in gameplay. The Holicar Wraith, you remember this one? Yeah, we took a look at it for about 15 minutes and that it was gone. Zero one one extra. The Kreska. I don't even... Do you guys know what the Kreska is? I don't even know. What, what's a Kreska? It's a machete? Why yeah, would you even when you have Machete Wraith? You have Machete Wraith, why would you even... Anyway, Kreska gets an increase. Cronin Prime! You guys love the Cronin Prime. Everybody loves the Cronin. The Cronin Prime. Fun fact. Uh, if I remember correctly, came out with Zephyr a couple of years ago. Now, when it came out, everybody criticized the Cronin Prime because of the range it had by default. Granted, we had plus range mods, but back then, plus range mods were a percentage increase of the base. And since the base was low, therefore the increase for range mods was also low, so it wasn't really worth modding for it. Now that range mods work as a flat value, the Cronin Prime is one hell of a melee weapon, and you gotta get yourself some of this. Now granted, most melee weapons are extremely powerful, so there is that. Don't worry about it, all you gotta do is press one button. Ah, like so. That's it. Hashtag gameplay. The Myos gets a 0 0 005 increase. The Nami Skilla Prime gets a small. What you had against the Nami Skilla Prime? It's Hydroid's weapon. Can you can we leave Hydroid out of us? Stop picking on Hydroid. He even gave him such a weak girlfriend. Or is it his daughter? Is it his girlfriend or his daughter? I don't know. You guys never made up your mind on that one. The Oma gets an increase. Same 005. The Orthos Prime. Do you guys love the Orthos Prime? I know there's a lot of Orthos Prime fans out there. 005 extra. The Pulmoras. The Secura Lecta. The Tatsu. The Tatsu, ooh, that's, that's like the huge Daikatana, we just got a skin for it, man. Beautiful, beautiful. The Tenant Agendas, Exec, Grigori, and Livia, all of them get an increase. 0, 05, 0, 01, 0, 0, 005, 0, 0, 005, of course, nobody got a zero. The biggest increase today was a 0 0.3, and that's like on one weapon. The Vastilog gets a 0 0.2, that's the brand new... What's it called? Uh, type of weapon, that, like, like the... Um, like the Redeemer, what's what's the type of weapon? Gunblade, right? Gunblade? Yeah. The Vastilok is the latest. Gunblade, the Venka, the huge kitty claws and all whatnot, get an increase as well. The Vitrica. You guys remember the Vitrica? The Vitrica was the big ass sword. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's the sword you got by completing the whole glass guys. Uh, gun. Uh, no, 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 no. Nightwave. Nightwave, that's it. I know that. The whole Nightwave thing. The Vitrica has a really cool alternative fire. Yeah, a legit alternative fire. It launches a glass shards, impacts on the ground, 
crystallizes enemies in that area. It's actually quite nice. I do recommend this melee weapon. It looks mwah, beautiful. The Volnus Prime gets a big increase, baby, for the Volnus Prime. 0.3 for the Volnus Prime, the biggest update to date. The War gets a 0.05, and the Zenistar gets a 0.05 as well. All right. Whew. Last one, my friends, for the Archons. We're gonna get through these as fast as... Oh, there are just five of them, or six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Prisma Dual Decurion. Prisma Dual Decurion, a weapon I haven't gotten to uh, review just yet, but honestly, it really handles quite nicely, and I think it's gonna be quite the strong weapon. I do recommend it. It's a small increase. The Grattler, but now we got a Kuva Grattler, so just go for the Kuva Grattler, I guess. Now the thing about the Kuvak Rattler, initially it started off really strong and then they said, you know, NERF THAT SHIT! <laughs> and now it's not great anymore. It's still okay, just not fantastic. Imperator and Imperator Vandal both get the 0, 0 yeah, 5 increase. The Larkspur, you remember the Larkspur? This one came out with Tildrum and it's basically like this big frontal beam that will destroy everything. It think, I think it links to targets as well and the secondary fire charges this big plasma ball explosion thing if you haven't tried the larkspur you gotta try it mechanically it's beautiful you just like it's the zarya gun only better because this is warframe and lastly the morga gets a 005 increase as well and that's pretty much it my friends well i'm always for plus riven disposition increases definitely now as you saw today these were very small small tweaks so it's not really gonna make a huge difference for the vast majority of these weapons but let me know what do you think about these changes in the comment section down below as always my name is Belazar. thank you guys so much for watching like favorite share and subscribe if you enjoy the content and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye bye